Today you guys are going to learn something that I learned uh, I thought was pretty cool. Basically it's a Safari customization tutorial and um, what you're going to do with Safari is you're going to change basically you're going to change the loading sign. So if I go to interface left as you can see this over here is um, like a navy blue and if you hold it down it's like a little darker. I'm going to teach you guys how to do that and change it to whatever color you like. I have a different color already that's already done. I'll show you guys what that looks like at the end. I'll show you guys how it looks at the end. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to make um, a red one. So this one I already have ready done, so I'll just show you guys the beginning steps and then I'll let you guys do it from there and I'll show you my finished product. So one thing you're going to need, sadly you're going to need, if you don't have it, I'm sorry, you cannot do this unless you know how to do it with other programs. You're going to need Photoshop. Um, I need this uh, Creative Suites work. Uh, so you're going to need Photoshop. I don't know how to do it with any other program. Um, so if you know how to do it with a different program, then you're in luck. If you don't, then I'm sorry, you need to use Photoshop. Um, so, yeah. So first of all, you want to go ahead and quit Safari. You want to go ahead and go to Applications. Um, go to Safari, find your Safari, and go to right click and go to Show Package Contents. Now, you're going to go ahead and open up contents and you're going to right click over here, push new folder type in Safari backup or just type in Safari Safari mods and then just go ahead and copy your resources folder over here copy it and paste it inside there and then copy your Safari actual application copy it and paste it inside here so that just in case something goes wrong, you have a backup of it. Okay, so now, what you want to do is, after you have your backup, you're going to go to the resources over here, open it up, and you're going to type in, make sure one of them is highlighted, and you're going to type in LOAD, or just type in loading. And then over here, as you can see, there's a bunch of loading stuff. So you're going to want to, copy these loading things the ones that are not white so don't copy the white ones copy the ones that say right cap push right cap or left cap push left cap fill push and then uh, fill I just didn't say the corner so go ahead and just select all those shift click and select all of them copy them and then go over here make a new folder and just type in mod or mods and then just paste all of them inside there Okay, so now that you have all of these, we can go ahead and minimize this. Minimize that. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up on this, this one, this one, and just open it up with Photoshop. Oops. Okay, so once you have it open, you should zoom in by push by holding down Alt, and then you can just zoom in. Drag it out. Oops. Zoom in on this one. This will be the left side. And then you have this middle piece. So a bunch of the middle one make up the whole thing. This is the right side, and this is the left side. Really zoomed in. So what you want to do now is you want to change it to whatever color you want. So the way to do this is... You're gonna I like a bit like this. You're going to click on the pencil tool and you're going to click on this little color so you can choose the color you want. Now, as you can see wherever I go like this, I have different colors. It shows different colors of whatever I click on. So I'm gonna click on this one. As you can see this whole thing moved to exactly that. So now whatever I move this to, it's going to be the same exact shade, but it's gonna be a different color. So I'm just going to move all the way to the red, because that way it's always going to be the exact color. Click OK. And just go ahead and make sure this is on one pixel for the brush. Make sure it's on pencil tool, not on brush tool. So pencil tool. Click on it, and then there you go. So just go ahead and do that for the rest of them. Now you guys may not think that these are different, but they are different. So for example, if I go ahead and suction this one, I'm going to go to this, like that. And look, if I suction up this, it's, it's like 1% different. 
So make sure you have it, um, all of them on the same because it's, some of them are a little lighter, some of them are a little different. So go ahead and do that for all of them. I'll just do this, this whole one for you guys right now so that you guys will have a brief idea of how it looks. I'm not going to do the whole thing perfect. I'm just going to show you guys what it would look like. Don't do what I'm doing. Just do every single one of them separately or else it's not going to be as accurate. You could still do it, but this won't be as accurate. And then just go ahead and suction that color. And then move this bar all the way up. Go ahead and go like that. And that's what the left side will be. So go ahead and do that to all of them. Um, I'm going to pause the video and re replay it with all my other finished stuff. OK, so basically this is what it looks like when it's when you did that to all of the boxes. Now as you can see over here on this uh, right or the right corner, or the right side, it's not how it's supposed to be. This Over here, this is different. The opacity is completely different than what it's supposed to be. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the eraser tool, click on it, make sure it's on erase, make sure it's on one pixel again, and the mode, pencil. Now, go to opacity and move it down to 10%. Now you're going to click on this edge until it becomes completely white. So make sure it's completely, completely, completely white. You want to have it all the way. So keep on clicking until it's all the way white. About 30 times would probably make it white. Do exactly the same for this one too. Okay, so once you've done that, um, now you're going to want to do these um, these ones too. So you're going to want to click on this 25, 20 times. Wait, I don't think not count. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You, can, you can't really tell the difference, but there is a difference. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Same thing over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You click on the edges twice, twice, and then one time. Twice, twice, and then one time. So you can do that too. Uh, so once you have your colors completely finished, go to whatever, go to this one or whichever one you want to save first, and just push Command S. And it should have saved it, but if it didn't save it, push com um, Command Shift S, which is Save As, and take out. Now make sure you save it as a PNG. So move it down to PNG. And it's going to add a little copy over here, so go ahead and delete that copy because you want this name to be the same exact thing. Click Replace, push OK, and then as you can see, it's basically the same exact thing. So you want to save this one too, Command Shift S, take out the copy. It's, not, it's probably going to be a um, Photoshop file, so change it to PNG. See, and then it adds the copy, so go ahead and take out the copy, replace, okay. Same thing for this one, save as, take out the copy, may save, make sure it's PNG, save, replace, okay. Now you have, wait, not yet, yeah, now you have these um, things, these folders, files. So as you can see, that's the right cap. That's the left, and that's the other left. That's once you've finished.